Are you the spirit man who's coming to for talk to me? I am. Who and what are you? I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. Please, put out that light. What? Would you just do for that with words in the end? The light that I did? Is it bad enough that you were one of those whose passions made this back and forced me to a train with your train flow upon my brow? I know nothing of this. I didn't mean to offend. What business brings you here? You are welcome. I am much obliged, but I cannot help but think that I might have unbroken the rest of the world conditions that night. <laughs> Your information, then. Take heed. Rise and walk with you. I am mortal and watch with the fall. Here, let it touch my hand, and you shall be upheld in warning. <laughs> As the words were spoken, they passed through the wall and stood an op open country road with fields on either hand. The city had entirely vanished. Not a vestige of it was to be seen. The darkness and the mist had vanished with it from the clear, tall, winter day. The snow fell down. Good heavens! I was bred in this place. I was a boy here. The spirit's gentle touch. Though it had been light and instantaneous, appears so present to the old man's sense of healing. He was conscious of a thousand others floating in the air, each one connected with a thousand thoughts, and hopes, and longs, long forgotten. Why, that's David Masterson, proper ass, the Lord! These are but shadows of things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. every gate and foot and tree until a little market town appeared in the distance with its bridge, its church, its winding river. Some shaggy ponies now were trotting towards them with boys upon their backs who called to other boys in country gigs and carts driven by farmers. All these boys were in great spirit and shouted to each other until the broad fields were so full of merry music that the crisp air laughed to hear them. Always a delicate creature, in the breath of the wind, but 
she had a large heart. So she had the right. I cannot deny it, Pierce. She died a woman, and had as I mean, children. One child. True, their nephew. Yes. In but a moment, they left the high road and the school behind them, and were now in the busy thoroughfares of the city, where shadowy passengers passed and we passed, where shadowy courts and coaches battled for the way, and all the strife and tumult of the real city was, it was made plain enough by the dressing of the shops, that here too it was Christmas time again, but it was an evening, and the streets were lighted up, the spirits stopped. I was Do you know it? You know it? What, what, I was a princess here. Why? It's so festive. Bless his heart. It's festive and alive again. Of years, but it had begun to wear the signs. 